Hey, we back. I'm here on Notbot today and I'm just making a small video on the couple of updates that Notbot's had because Notbot continues to be pretty much the only bot on the channel that actually has consistent updates. Good job to talk for that. So what have we got today? Well firstly we have a couple of small quality of life things. For instance we have these little emojis that appear on Battles Now as you can see that just show the uh, well the element i guess of the uh of the character the, the reason this is maybe a little confusing is because we also have shattered here uh shattered obviously being the uh characters that you can get from your ranked rewards a little bit special those ones um and so managed to get a battle here with a shattered character to demonstrate that which is pretty nice um but yeah so you've got all the different element symbols here uh just displayed next to the characters which is pretty pretty helpful um it doesn't make any serious difference to the to the battling, obviously. Um, and at the end of the day, you could always just memorize these. It's not too hard. Uh, but yeah, just nice quality of life stuff. Uh, we also have the rarity shown with emojis next to opening boxes now, uh, which is also quite nice. Um, so here you can see there's two little things. So we have a two star thing. It even says you rarity and they're the right color. Uh, so that's uncommon. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's pretty nice. If we go down to the server, you can see uh, all, of this, all of this has been put into the announcements channel here. The image of a character when opening buying boxes and added element emojis next to characters' names in battles. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, what we're mainly here today to talk about is the balance changes that also happened uh, yesterday, for me anyway. Um, and that is a couple of small balances, but I think they're actually pretty good. I'm happy with the balances this time. Um, in general, very happy with them. Uh, so firstly, we have a couple of cost cost changes. Lilith's blindness and Pandora's shaming manipulation. I don't really think cost cost differences make any difference to the use of a super, um, unless you have a team that has been built to basically spam supers. I don't think you're ever going to run out of super points. I know I certainly don't, and I've not heard anyone else that does. Um, now, of course, they are a resource that you need to spend, and so at the end of the day, if the costs get too high, a uh, super will actually be difficult to use. Um, but in general, I think you're going to be wanting to do a lot more normal attacking or, or attentioning or healing or whatever, just the basic moves of a character rather than their supers. Um, normally better unless you have particularly good supers. Um, so I don't think these costs make any major difference. But like, yeah, fair enough. Sure. I mean, these two were certainly reasonable supers. Uh, so giving them a little bit of a nerf makes sense, I guess. Uh, Cold's weakness now reduces more damage from 20% up to 30%. Uh, this is pretty good, actually. Uh, Cold's weakness was not major, and I still don't think it's major, um, but it's certainly not a bad super, and I'm down for that change. I have not gone up against Cole too often, uh, but I know that he's, uh, I mean, he's a shattered character, and he's one of the better shattered characters, in my opinion. Um, so having that buff, I think, is pretty nice because in general, I think most of the most of the shattered characters are pretty bad. Uh, so the fact that Cole is getting a buff, I think, maybe makes him, you know, playable character now, which is pretty nice. Uh, we have Kage's sneaky region heals more from five percent up to ten percent. Um, I kind of laughed when I first saw this because I didn't realize that sneaky region healed that little. Um, so again, I'm glad that it's got a buff. I think that ten percent is probably not enough still because sneaky region is it's not a great super already, and ten percent is really not much healing. Um, but hey, whatever, sure. I'll take a buff. Any buff is good. Uh, Endra's fusion splitting cost has gone down. Again, like I said, I don't think the cost things make any difference, and fusion and splitting is potentially one of the worst supers in the game. Um, I still I still say that Ethan's feedback is probably the worst, but to be fair, as you can see here, it got changed from, from just a straight 100 HP to 15%, so hey, whatever, sure, it's not awful anymore, it's not the worst potentially, it used to definitely be the worst, and it's not anymore, uh, so maybe fusion and splitting is now the worst super in the game, hey, uh, but anyway, so yeah, reducing its cost, sure, like, I'm down for that, it, it needed a nerf, it needs a bigger nerf, uh, sorry, a buff, it needs a bigger buff than that, it needs a rework, in my opinion, uh, but hey, whatever. There you go. Uh, Enger's Firebomb's damage was increased once again. Now this I'm very much down for. I'm surprised that this is again, actually. I don't remember it being uh, 
being buffed the first time. I'm probably just forgetful, but maybe it was a while ago. Um, but yes, Enger's Fire Bombs being increased is pretty good. Um, Enger's Fire Bombs is basically the only reason why I think Enger is potentially a playable character. Now, at the end of the day, Enger's is a healer, and healers are not great, but Fire Bombs actually make it worth it. If you compare the damage of Fire Bombs to Berlian's Earthquake, the percentages that it does, well, now are actually pretty pretty comparable uh, they used to not be when it was 20 30 and 40 percent but now with 50 60 and 70 it's actually comparable to earthquake which is really cool uh, because earthquake is obviously a really good super now you may think oh but earthquakes op doesn't that make fire bombs op well, there's two things to consider firstly if you're using fire bombs that means you're using enger so you're already nerfing yourself from berlin because enger's a healer uh, but secondly enger is a healer Enger's percentage of damage is much lower than Berlian's. When Berlian does 50% of his damage, it's a lot of damage. Whereas when Enger does 50% of her damage, it's not so much damage. Uh, so I wouldn't say that, that Firebombs is OP now, or, or anything close to it, to be honest. Uh, what I would say is this is now a reasonable super. Uh, Firebombs is certainly playable, and I think Enger is maybe a playable character because of it. At the end of the day, like I say, Enger's still a healer, but... You know, if healers get the buff that they need, which if you're reading ahead, you'll see, um, then, you know, this could very well make Enjur a playable character, I think. Uh, 50, 60, and 70% of damage is is pretty respectable. Um, if you add that all up, remember that Firebombs only targets two characters compared to Earthquake's three, so it's still not as good as Earthquake, um, but that's 100% damage, 120 and 140. So you basically get all added up together that's 360 percent of a single attack in one turn well i mean it's spread across three turns but you only had to spend one turn in order to get it right you spend one turn to use the super so you're doing almost four times the amount of damage that you would do now again Enger doesn't have a whole lot of damage so four times that is still not a whole lot of damage but you get the point i'm, I'm waffling too much and probably probably just repeating myself at this point but yes the super is good the thing that's bad about it is Enger not having much attack but yes Enger's not meant to be an attacker of course because Enger is a healer and healers got a big buff as well all healers got 10 more base damage 10 is not a large amount not by a long shot but it's a buff and I'll take a buff um healers having more damage makes sense because they're not going to be healing every turn. You're going to want them to be damaging sometimes. Um, and especially people like Enjo with their damaging supers, that 10 base damage can make a difference. Also, all healers get three more heal percentage. Three is not a whole lot, and I don't think that's enough. But again, it's a step in the right direction. Uh, the issue with healers is that you can do a lot more damage with an attacker than a healer can heal in the same number of moves. And 3% does not change that, not even close. Um, but, like I say, it's a step in the right direction, and healers are getting buffed. Um, pretty consistently, actually. I mean, all you need to do is glance up to the last update where you see that all the healers had their healing percentage buffs as well. Um, so, just in general, healers are getting better and better in Notbot. Um, and one day, <laughs> one day I might consider them playable characters, who knows? Who knows? Uh, certainly some of them are. I mean, I just said that Enger's certainly getting there. Um, and hey, Yara's, Yara's pretty much playable, you know? Pretty much. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my opinion on the current update. All in all, good stuff. I think some things could have been buffed a little harder, uh, but that is pretty much always the case, because when you're comparing something to Berlian, everything needs buffing harder. Uh, but anyway, yes, that, that is the update. All in all, very happy with it. Good job, Tog. And I'm going to leave this video here. Bye!